Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I am here to um, show you a quick tip. Um, this is uh, about how to automate your regroove sequences. Um, if you know by looking at your um, regroove mixer and you've played around with your regroove mixer before, you can tell that if you right click you can't do very much with it. You can't automate it. Um, you also can't automate your shuffle, you can't automate your slide. Um, so what I have done is come up with an alternative way in which you can automate some changes. Um, what it requires is you taking the same regroove that you put on channel 1 and copying it into channel 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, up to 32 different banks of channels if you want. Um, and then basically you can use your regroove as though it were a mixer. Um, then what you're going to have to do is on each of the lanes, right here I have a, a drum sequence that's playing, um, and on each of the lanes you're going to create um, different grooves. So you're going to have A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and I have eight different grooves here. And then when you want to switch the grooves out, you just put the notes on a different lane here. Um, so in this way you can then change the different um, grooves that are on each of the channels. So here the slide has changed slightly and the, and the shuffle has changed slightly between all the different um, grooves, all the different groove patterns. It's still the same groove, but it's just we've changed each channel of the groove slightly. And that way when the um, drums play through, they're going to switch and um, the groove is going to be changed based on the lane that it's playing. And as you can see here, we have eight different lanes that have eight different grooves assigned to them. But really, in reality, it's all the exact same groove. It's just you've changed the slide a little bit and you've changed the shuffle a little bit. So the next time you're thinking about how you can automate your regroove mixer, um, this is one method that I use to actually automate it. Um, you basically make, cha make your changes here and then you, you've got, uh, it basically acts as if it's like your, um, your matrix sequencer. You go from one step to another um, with a slight change uh, from one channel to the next. And then you just uh, create different lanes for your your um, drums. If you want to, you can actually create, um, just have your kicks, like down here I have another, another sequence which is just the kicks. Um, so each of these lanes has the same kick pattern but with a different groove applied to each of the lanes. And uh, that was a quick tip. I hope you come back to reason101.net and uh, hear a couple more tips. I'll uh, try to keep coming with some new videos for you to show you different tips. Okay, thanks a lot. And again, it's uh, reason101.net. Come back and visit me. Thanks a lot. Take care.